Preparing for an insurance audit. If your business operations have changed, your insurance premium may also need to change, and you don't even know it. Premium audits help ensure that the premiums being paid accurately reflect a business operations over the policy period. An audit doesn't necessarily mean a higher premium. It could also result in a lower premium. If you have never had a premium audit or unsure of the process, we're here to help. We've compiled a general list of required documents needed for your audit to go smoothly. Being organized can help expedite the process and allow the auditor to complete the audit at the initial appointment so the audit findings can be reviewed at the conclusion of the visit. Records are required to complete an audit. There are going to be payroll records which include gross pay, overtime pay, and severance pay, QuickBooks reports, payroll registers such as ADP, paychecks, or whatever third-party vendor you use, manual payroll sheets or payroll book, if there is interchange of labor, the payroll records must have a breakdown of the hours and gross pay between the various jobs and or locations for each employee. Payroll verification reports. Employers quarterly federal tax return forms 941s and 943s. State employers quarterly insurance tax reports with job titles noted next to each employee's name. Federal 1099s if applicable. Subcontractor reports such as general ledger of cash disbursements, a journal listing each subcontractor for the audit period, QuickBooks vendor transaction reports or their summaries, job cost records, contracts, work invoices showing type of work performed, other vendor detail that reflects payments to subcontractors, records to secure from subcontractors. This is what you must have. Prior to each subcontractor commencing work, the following documents must be secured. Failure to secure the required subcontractor documentation could result in an audit or denial of coverage in the event of a claim. So get certificates of insurance. The certificate must name you, the insured, as the certificate holder and as an additional insured under the subcontractor's general liability coverage. The subcontractor's general liability limits must be equal to or greater than yours, the insured. Subcontractor's coverage certificates need to reflect coverage during the policy period of your coverage. Subcontractor agreement, you, prior to the commencement of the work, you, the insured, must have each subcontractor sign a subcontractor agreement. And a subcontractor agreement must address the following. A hold harmless or indemnification clause in favor of you, the insured. A requirement that the sub name you, the insured, as an additional insured under their general liability policy. The general liability insurance requirements. While this list of documents may not be exhaustive, it should get you started in the right direction. If you have questions about the premium audit, give us a call. Maybe we can help.